Hi guys, let's dive in into let's dive in more into this topic right here, the subject. Uh this situation right now of Ryan Garcia failing uh, a drug test. Um it is very sad, but it's quite ironic that Ursula Oya, who happens to have been with this guy since day one, he was with Carlos since day one. And then kind of look a uh, pop dirty on the Oscar de la Oya's watch. You know what I mean? I think this was probably before the the like the the clash of heads or something like that. And hello, ironically, uh, Oscar last night went and out that kind of little faded drug test that the Mungia fight was supposed to happen. You know stuff like that. Let's just hear from him. Because it was quite eaten, basically. Got an, an, a crazy uh, clash of two uh, guys that were, that used to be very close and became um, enemies. There were times that work was not my priority based on my mental health, which I had neglected for so long. But that doesn't change the fact that Golden Boy built Canelo Alvarez, period. The company you fought under for, for, for decades has always had one name, and it's mine. So put some fucking respect on it. As for Jaime, he has always dared to be great, just as he's this Saturday night. And this serves as a bit of a full circle for him. Remember when Jaime was 21 years old, volunteered to step in against Triple G, and Canelo failed two drug tests? Though Jaime wasn't allowed to fulfill his dream, 2018, on Saturday night, he will do just that. Fulfill his dream and be world champion. So what Canelo is saying that I translated in Spanish that, yeah, he said, you have to write what you're saying, you know, basically. And they called him a maricon. Maricon is like a, a no didi, G-A-Y, no didi. Tú lo escribes, ¿qué lo escribes, pendejo? Tú no escribes nada, cabrón, tú no haces nada, tú no haces nada. Yo lo escribí. Eres un pendejo, eso es lo que eres. Eres un baboso, cabrón. Eres un pendejo, cabrón, porque están nomás ahí. Los que hacen todos son los que están detrás de ti. Tú eres un pendejo nomás con la imagen, idiota. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, man. They are basically going at it. Carlo, bro. It's so funny that Carlo is calling Oslo, yeah, pendejo, bro. This guy used to be very close. Man, humans are very strange. And it is quite unfortunate that humans sometimes we don't get along. Now, I was my pop my my purpose of making this video is to address Oscar de la Hoya's hand job or backhand behind um behind the uh, Behind the scenes of behind the scenes act bad hat of his. Now also the Oyas two fighters, two stars have both failed a drug test. Canelo failed a drug test, it was swept under the rug by the WBC. Oscar now Oscar new new uh new uh, golden boy Ryan Garcia has fed a drug test and proud to this fight against the Vianney, I always wonder why is why because him and the Vianney, they fought uh, six times as amateurs they both have they uh, um Ryan Garcia won three uh the Vianney won three but I always wonder, like, why was Ryan Garcia so confident? Why was he so calm before the storm? Why was he so, so like, it was even, this guy was so calm. Like, you, you, I was like, damn, this must, this confidence must be out of this world. And we found out that he faded a uh, drug test. It's just so disappointing. Now it cannot reveal the reason why it was there. And now he's going all crazy, all mad on, on, uh, on the social media platform saying that uh yeah he drank tequila bro there is no coronation bro 
doesn't he doesn't he he do, he, he doesn't match tequila osterine they are, they don't they don't match you your camp knew what it was do what they were doing that's why they they wanted to shoot they wanted to shoot just to beat any and and big ups to any even the 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 like the win right the that lose that loss right now is is even more is even more impressive because any kept getting up so the news right now is that the new york commission will now investigate Ryan Garcia's uh, positive drug test following the Devaney fight and could overturn his win to a no contest Garcia's promoter Golden Boy have said Ryan Garcia has put out multiple statements denying knowingly using any banned substances and we believe him we are working with his team to determine how this finally came to be and we address this for the ones we conclude that process well i don't know what process is going to conclude but failing a drug test there is no coming back from this of course it can be swept under the rug by the powers that be again like canelo's drug, uh, drug test was swept under so there is something going on go the boy bro either they are taking coke either they are doing uh illicit drugs or they are or they are, they are being popped dirty for 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 bad substances it's just not looking right for golden boy and all schedule lawyer must be held responsible for this deeds by these two guys right here kind of rangas yeah rangas yeah especially because Oscar lawyer let, let him off the hook he let it, he allowed him to do everything he wanted to do just to win the fight all he needed was a bragging right nothing more and it's sad man you guys can give us below what do you think should happen to Oscar the lawyer is he the one to blame or not is he a coincidence or not is all very interesting wow